Yesterday I branched out a little bit and tried a different way of publishing out articles and documentation for all of the walkthroughs that I create. And I started to uh, look at using GitHub because I've seen people use GitHub just for uh, sharing out walkthroughs and documentation. In fact, I think that's what Microsoft uses for all of the docs site. And uh, I learned a lot of things along the way and I thought I'd share some of them uh, with, with you all. So if you're familiar with GitHub, then you probably know this, I'm late to the game. Uh, but all of these uh, pages that we go out and create are stored inside of GitHub, inside of projects. And uh, you can see here is my document that I created. And they're stored within a file, which is a markdown file. So that's what the, the MD extension is here within GitHub. So in the past, when I've looked at this, uh, the documentation here looks easy, but if we actually go in and edit this, then the markdown language is was something that was completely new to me because we can have um, headings, we can have images, we have to upload all of the files manually and uh, and create this text. And in the past, I just thought this was a uh, was a great big pain in the butt to do when I could just go out and use WordPress to to go out and publish all of these things up. But this does allow me to do some clever things with GitHub for republishing out changes. So so in the past, I've thought that this is just too hard and to upload all of the files, especially with the number of screenshots that I do, is going to just be hard. So yesterday I, I went out and thought there's got to be an easier way than going out and creating the markdown by hand. So, so what I did is I went out and I started off with my uh, author tools project that I've been using for quite a while. And uh, what I did is I can go out and I can, I've got a document here that I'm going to, to publish out. And uh, I went out and added a markdown uh, capability here and all I need to do to convert this document that has all of my images inside of it down to the markdown file is just click on this button and what it's going to do in the background is you can see that's going out and processing all of the slides and instead of going out and creating a PowerPoint or a Word document uh, as I've done in the past it's going out and it's actually creating all of the markdown text for me and uh, doing all of the hard work, including the saving of the pictures away uh, directly here within the application. So this is ran in the background. It's created my files for me. And if I go over to my file explorer, then I've created this folder here, which is my markdown. And it's done a couple of uh, pretty cool things. So it's created my markdown file for me. And also every one of the images that I had inside of that walkthrough is uh, created here as a, uh, as an image and stored away within the markdown file because you need to have these images in order to, um, to really create the content. So now that I've created this, I can actually go and have a look at this. So what I'm doing is I'm opening up this um, markdown file inside of Visual Studio Code. So here we can see all the syntax that we have uh, for the images, and we've actually got links to the images that are stored away. And the cool thing is that if I do a side-by-side -side and push this over to here, then we can actually see what the markdown looks like and I can go out and I can modify this if I want and see the changes in real time. So now I've got a really, uh, really simple uh, flow here that's showing me all the steps that I have in this case to go out and create a bot using AdBot, one of my most favorite partner products to work with. And uh, it, it just looks nice. So the 
uh, author tools add-on can now go out and create this markdown for me. So now that I've got this file, I'm going to uh, show, show you something else here. So I've got the file and if I go over to my documents and then go into GitHub, then I've got a project here which has um, that I've been using. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the old uh, content and then paste in the new. So this is the one that I just created and so now it's stored in GitHub inside of my lo local repository. So now that I've got the files updated to my local repository, then what I can do now is I can return over to uh, GitHub Desktop. And what it's going to show me is it's going to show me all of the changes that I made. And there's a lot of images that have been changed. And you can see that the, this one needs to be deleted. This one needs to be added. So all I need to do here is add a, a description of my change. And then I can go and commit this over and make the all the changes to my master project. This will then allow me to push all of the changes that I've got up to GitHub from my uh, local authoring area. So now that I don't have any changes here locally that I need to view, I can come back over here and look at my uh, document that I created. And we can see that it was published around about a minute ago. All the images have been updated. And then all of the text here has been updated for me as well to um, uh, to display within the application or within GitHub. So now what I've got is I've got documentation that everyone else can go and access pretty easily and I can refresh this at any time that I may want. So I thought that was pretty cool, uh, especially since I'm using the author tools framework to go out and uh, structure all of these um, uh, changes or, or the text that I've got for my walkthroughs and also saving out all the images. So hope this is useful and uh, I thought this was pretty darn cool.